And like I said, I, I really want to explore this, this notion of, of making uh, many of these tools more robust against data problems. Like either it's the problem is very high dimensional, most of it is noise, or you can kind of filter out the signal, uh, or if there is some kind of data corruption, are there any types of guarantees that these methods won't be fooled by something uh, very, very small, but that actually might uh, prevent these methods from working in practice. Uh, and I try to design algorithms for that that actually kind of could be broadly used. Okay, so we, my group and I, we kind of, when we publish algorithms, we also have open code, so people can in principle use it. Um, and try to kind of expand on this, you know, making sure that many of the methods that we have are currently kind of not safeguarded against such problems. Try to mo move to a, a situation where we either understand what could be the problem or ideally kind of prevent these methods from going haywire if there is a small problem with their, you know, with the data they have been fed essentially. The nice thing about computers is that you can kind of delegate uh, a lot of the work that had to be done by hand, uh, almost hard labor trying to figure out how to do things is that essentially now we, we can kind of delegate it to, to computers and that it opens up a lot of opportunities um, and that's essentially what I try to explore is that uh, if you kind of let the computers do the hard work is that we can kind of worry about the big picture you know? um, and that frees up a lot of a lot of possibilities um, uh, that being said, you have to kind of, and this is something that is in the recent years more and more important, is that the more decisions are going to be made based on such, you know, algorithms and data, is that you have to make sure that they're kind of fair in some sense too. That they, uh, there's, there's important examples of where it kind of goes wrong as well nowadays. That it's kind of our, uh, uh, we're kind of uh, responsible somehow to make sure that whatever we kind of propose actually doesn't lead to bad decisions. So you have to kind of be uh, aware of both the benefits and the potential downsides. So I think that if, if you kind of take an operations research class or you're kind of interested in this, is that something that we kind of instill in every one of our students is that somehow with great power comes great responsibility as well.